Hi, this is Tom Dupuy with Online Media Masters, and I'm going to show you 10 things that you can do to optimize your WordPress site and get it ranked higher in Google. So we'll start with the first thing, install the WordPress SEO plugin by Yoast. Um, it's, I, it's pretty much the best plugin. <laughs> I've done a lot of research, and you'll, see, you'll find reviews that also say the same thing as me. So you install the plugin just by going into the left menu in your WordPress dashboard, search for Yoast WordPress SEO plugin, and install it. And you'll want to make sure it's configured properly. You can use Yoast to set up Google authorship, which is uh, what makes your face get shown up in Google, which can that can differentiate you in the search results especially if you're not in the SEO industry like me. And you can also use it to set up Google Webmaster Tools, Bing, and Alexa. So once you have Yoast set up, you want to choose a page to rank higher. This can be your home page, a product or service page, or even a blog post. Those are the, those are the most common types. Do not do this for your contact page, testimonial, or privacy policy, privacy policy page because those pages don't really have, um, they're not really relevant to what you want to be ranking higher for. So I just made this little map to show you uh, how to target keywords. You're going to target one on your home page and then you're going to split up your products or services pages and create a new page for each one. If, you're, if they're all bunched up on the same page, then you're not going to do a good job at targeting. And by adding more service pages, then you'll be able to also target more keywords since you're only supposed to target one keyword per page. And you can do the same thing with your blog categories and blog posts. So once you have your page you want to rank higher for, then you're going to want to choose a keyword for that page. Don't guess it. Use Google Keyword Planner. If you just go into Google and type in Google Keyword Planner, you'll use that tool to enter a keyword here. And then there's options to um, put in the URL of the landing page you want to rank higher for and you can use these nifty filters to narrow down your results. For instance, if you're targeting a you know, Chicago SEO, you can um, use this location-based targeting. So I went over only use one page to target a keyword, one keyword per page, and use the same page to target very similar keywords like plurals, um, if the words are in different orders and if you have if you have a bunch of keywords you want to rank higher for and they're not very similar then you're going to need to add new pages or blog posts to target those words <laughs> before you finalize your keywords you're going to want to research the competition and there's a few ways to do that in Google Keyword Planner you'll see a high, medium, low competition, but that's for AdWords, that's not for SEO. So for SEO, you're going to want to look at the monthly searches, and you're also going to want to Google the keyword. So the more monthly searches a keyword has, generally the higher the competition. And you're going to want to avoid keywords with that have large websites like Wikipedia showing up in the search results or maybe you have um, large, <clears throat> large competitors that are doing a lot of SEO work and that you probably can't rank higher for them. Or if you see a lot of ads when you Google the keyword. And one way to get ideas too is if you just go into Google and start typing in a word, you'll see the autofill that Google uses. Um, that's based off of frequently frequent searches that people do, so you can also get um, ideas from that. So once you, once you know the competition, 
and you have the keyword that, for that page you want to rank higher for, then you're going to go back into WordPress and edit one of your pages. And when you do that, scroll to the bottom and you will see this, uh, this nifty little area that you have in, that's the Yoast plugin. So you're going to want to type in your keyword as a focus keyword and then Yoast tells you where to put that keyword in your SEO title, the meta description, and even the URL right here. So between those three that I just listed, that will make up the snippet that shows up in Google. And like I said, you can also put it in your face using the Google authorship setting in Yoast. Once you do that, you'll see this little tab right here in Yoast that also that gives you more in-depth recommendations to optimize your page. So it says the images do not have alt tags containing your keyword. Do that. I have no outbound links on the page. So one of the things you can do is use links, um, linking to relevant content on external websites as well as your own website helps Google recognize what your page is about. So go through that list and do that as well. And once you've done that for all the pages you want to rank higher for, then you can use Google Analytics to measure the results. And you can also use Google Analytics to measure a lot of other marketing activities like social media and mobile even technical errors in your website. So once once your website is optimized, um, I didn't cover everything. One of the things you can do is is make it load faster. Website speed is a factor in Google. So a website that loads in one second is going to rank higher, assuming it's doing a lot of the other SEO work than a website that loads in eight seconds or even four. So there's a plugin called W3 Total Cache that you can install on your WordPress site that will help with that. But then there's <clears throat> there's also other things you can do like um, compressing your code and optimizing images that will help with that. <clears throat> I didn't cover all the website optimizations, but that will definitely help your SEO. The other, I don't want, I didn't want to leave out link building because the number and the quality of inbound links to your website is a significant factor in Google. In fact, it's about 50%. So just because your website's optimized doesn't mean it's going to rank higher. You need to get links to your website because that's what tells Google that, you know, hey, if people are linking to my website, it must be important. So there's a, there's a very, that's a whole new world, but um, in general, you just want to acquire good links from even your clients and uh, online directories is an easy one. Those don't pass a lot of ranking juice, you could say, but um, that's just be on the lookout for inbound links. The last thing I want to cover before this video ends is local SEO. You can use your WordPress site to target specific cities. You can include a city in your keyword, and you can also do things like um, get a Google Plus business page, sign up for online directories, and local SEO has its own kind of al algorithm. So, uh, so uh, just Google that and get some tips on that if that's really your strategy. Otherwise, what I covered um, is more national and global SEO. So I hope that helped. If you have uh, any questions, leave me a comment below. Or if you need help managing your WordPress SEO, just leave me a comment and we'll be in touch.